Hello, I'm Tony, and welcome to the Tony Shap Show. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back. This week, we have David with us. He's from Karma. I can't wait for him to share with you his story, who he is, what his company is all about. Uh, David, take a second to say hello to the listeners. Hey, everyone. My name is David from the company named Karma. Hey, welcome to the Tony Shap Show. I'm super excited to have you here. And as you know, we just get right into it. Let's start off with the one word open. So use the one word, you know, how you can describe how you're feeling right now, David. If you could share that with us, that'd be great. That'll be a word awesome. I feel awesome. awesome. I love it. Great. And just as a kick things off, um, if you know, another powerful question I wanted to start things off with is uh, in your business, would you be able to stay in business if you did not accept credit card payments? Uh, we probably would. Yes, we would stay in business, though in saying that credit card is a very, very major part of our business. Excellent. Very good. Let's talk, speaking of business, let's go right into that. So tell us about your business, the story, how you guys got started and where you are today, where you're going and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, feel free to share with us your why, because that's important yeah. to our listeners. Yeah, a- absolutely. So, um, we, we used to be uh, we used to be a, a software development company uh, back four years ago. And then we've been looking for a product kind of because we all be working remote, which is normal nowadays. But back back then, it wasn't that widespread, but our company was still very remote. And uh, we've been looking for a tool for appreciation and recognition. So we looked around and Slack was really fairly new back then. Microsoft Teams was almost non-existent. And uh, we looked around for tools for appreciation. We didn't really find one that'll suit our needs. So we've kind of created a tool for ourselves, for our developers and our managers and everyone else to work and appreciate each other. And it was very successful. And we thought, wow, that might be a really good need for that product on the market. And we put it on the market and, you know, it got adopted fairly quickly. People start paying money for a subscription. And we thought, wow, that's probably what we're going to do now. We will we'll work on that product exclusively. And, and from then onwards, it was all about karma and, and journey with karma. That's beautiful. Who do you typically help with karma? Uh, we, we typically help kind of, it's, it's a really good question, you know, because people go ask you, you know, who are your customers? And we normally it's people say like small business or medium business or enterprises, but the actual product helps everyone. It, 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 it's probably a very blunt thing to say, but Everyone is in need of appreciation. And if you look at the modern workspace, you'd see that a lot of workspace would actually lack that appreciation, regardless if you've been a small company of three or a big corporation of thousands, you'd still would have that need for someone to publicly appreciate your hard work. And nowadays that becomes more and more important. And because everyone's remote now, it's even more important. So you cannot really walk to your teammate or your colleague in the room and say, hey, well done. So you have to do it remotely. And people just are not used to doing that remotely. Absolutely. Let's talk talk about um, some wins that you've had recently in your company. So if there's some recent wins that you're proud of that you can share with us that you put on the board, so to speak, whether it's new client acquisition, um, if it's net revenue, whatever you're comfortable sharing, if you could share with us you know, what that win was, David, and also what you learned from it. Yeah, no, I think um, would be one of our wins would be we hit almost 30,000 of uh, monthly recurring revenue. So our product is profitable and um, we are very lean as, as a development company. So we don't spend a lot and we still, though our revenue isn't high as it probably desired, but still we're profitable. And what we'll learn from that is it doesn't take it doesn't take a lot of funds to get you to profitability. You know, it's it, and it's all in your head. You don't have to earn hundred thousand or two hundred thousand per month to be profitable. And that's probably what I, or what what our take was from that. You can be still lean, you can be still bootstrapped, you can still have fun and enjoy your product and 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 and, and still have some revenue and being profitable. That's awesome. Let's talk about some things that are not so great. You know, sometimes we we hit these speed bumps in business and we have to learn from it and just pick up and move on. So have you had any experiences recently that's not so much of a win? And what did you learn from it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, typically before the coronavirus times, 
our churn rates are really, really low. And with that, that was something that we've been proud of throughout the year. If, if you would if you would ask me the win last year about our wins, I'd say probably Tony, our churn rate is so low, it's almost unbelievable. But unfortunately with the coronavirus, a lot of businesses had to, to cut their spend in, you know, some employee programs became the first that got under the ax. So our churn gone just really over the moon. Some really important clients left us because they opt out from different programs. So they closed down the appreciation programs whatsoever. Like all, all, and all of a sudden we find ourselves by losing money that was so hard earned months and months ago. And what we've learned from that is, you know, life goes on. If, if, if you know, some business is in trouble and the world is not in a good place right now, it all still will come back right at some stage. So all we have to do is just, you know, get up and keep going to whatever we can do every day. And despite the other signs that we see, we still need to do our work, get up in the morning, work in our product and hope for the best. And so far it worked, it worked great. So our children start declining and, you know, there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. That's really great. Thanks for sharing that with us. So let's move right into, you know, the, if there was one thing that moved the needle a lot for you, David. So, you know, we talk about 80, 20 rule, right? 20% of something resembles mm. uh, 80% results or 20% of some activity nets you 80% results. So looking back right now with karma, as you're thinking through, is there one thing or some major things that you did like one or two that had a dramatic impact on your revenue for you that you could share with us? Um, I think, and, and I know a lot of, you know, founders and, and, and uh, everyone else will talk about it, but I'd say talk to your clients. And I think what really made a difference for us is myself and the other co-founder, we were at the front line of demoing our products. Instead of having someone else demo, demoing our product for us and talking to our clients, we would actually take that and, and bear that on our shoulders. And the result that it gave us was just unbelievable because first of all, we've talked to real people that require our product and they would find us. You know, we don't have to go and advertise ourselves. They, they actually come to us and saying, hey, we need that product. And by talking to them and saying like, why do you need that product? You know, what do you have in terms of recognition right now? What you don't like about that system? How would you think, what are your expectations toward the product? And by just establishing those human relationships and learning more about them, it was easier for us to sell them the solution at the end of the day than to utilize any other channels, you know, like advertising, marketing, or any other non-human connections, I'd say. So I think that was the biggest win for us. It didn't take a lot of our time to, um, to, to learn about their use case and, and to give them a solution straight away on the call, say like, hey, I have a solution for our product can do this and this hurdle that you've been facing all that time can be overcome. So I think, I think that was the biggest win for us, talking to our clients ourselves instead of getting someone else and, and, and doing that work for us. That's really great. You got immediate feedback from your end user. So if there's areas of improvement, you guys heard it right away. And if there's things that did not need, that's, you know, you can just remove it off your, off your um, product. So that's yeah. pretty cool that, that you shared with that with us. So talk to us about how, um, you know, give us your website address and how can our listeners get a hold of you? Yeah, absolutely. So our website is karmabot.chat and david at karmabot.chat is my email address. There's, there's a form on the website. So you can, you can try our product, install one of the solutions that we have. It's either Slack or Microsoft Teams or Telegram and solution for Telegram is even, is even better. It's free. So uh what one of those three integrations that you can try and uh, yeah, that's how you can get hold of us. We, we have a chat uh, thing on our website that we, you can use to connect with us and we, they're available almost 24 seven. Excellent. Thank you. And what's your one word close to wrap it up with? Oh, that'll be, that'll be how about it? So have a great day, everyone. That'll be one word. <laughs> have a great karma. Excellent. Karma. Have a great karma. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate you coming on here. I can't wait to have you back on the show sometime soon. That, that way you can share with us your later 
your latest developments and uh, upgrades and stuff that you've enhancements you've made to your organization as well. Thanks, Sonia. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate your time. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed it and great to have you. And thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. Till next time, onwards and upwards. <laughs>